Hey guys, it's Michelle. Today's show is about the underrated Louis Vuitton bags that are not monogrammed. Welcome or welcome back. First of all, thank you so much for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. And if you have not done so already, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. I am a former client advisor for Vuitton and I give you advice on what it's like to work there, what to buy, and some history of the brand. So if you're into that stuff, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Today I'm going to talk about the underrated Louis Vuitton bags that are not monogram. So you're not going to hear about them on the social medias. They are still bags that people came in to buy. But now why I wanted to do the show, because every now and then I look at the pre-love market and I do remember from working there, there were certain bags that I just gravitated toward, wanted to sell and push that people didn't know about. And this is from my memory of like, okay, bags that I would buy if money were no object. Some of these bags are still in store and some of them have been discontinued, but you can still find them on the pre-love market. Okay, as always, this is my opinion and let me just put the disclaimer that I don't generally like to purchase things that everybody else has. I already have two monogram bags and I'm good with those. And I generally like to pick items that have a pop of color or something unique. So my personal list and my taste could be completely different from yours. Number one is I think a quite conservative bag, but it is the LV Twist. Now, when people think of the twist, they immediately think of the black and silver bag. And I've talked about this bag before. Please try not to buy it retail because you can find it pre-love for almost 2,000 less than you would retail. The Epi leather holds up very well, but it does not hold its resale value. So uh, something about the twist, it's Nicolas Gasquier's mark on Louis Vuitton. It was the It Girl bag for a while, even though they try to make the Capucines the It Girl bag. But the twist was also, was always very popular. I'm gonna talk about this particular colorway in Camel. Why I like this particular bag, and every time this bag came into the store, I just loved it and always tried to show it to people, like, this is so gorgeous. Most people like to wear black. So when you wear your black bag with your black outfit, the black bag just disappears. But here you have the Camel color. It's still a very neutral color. And look how beautiful, it's just classic. And I like that it has gold details. And I also like that this particular bag has a leather strap for the crossbody portion. And it has the little chain that you can also just carry as a top handle, but makes a nice little necklace too if you are wearing the bag as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. So this has a leather strap which can expand just like the Neon Away, so you can wear it over the shoulder or you can wear it crossbody. So most of the twists come with the heavy metal chain and a lot of people didn't like that. I happen to like the chain. I'm like, it's just like wearing a necklace, it's jewelry. But I did like that the twist has different reiterations and gravitate toward the ones that have the leather strap because the leather strap is adjustable, like I said, and it has the chain. So there are other reiterations of this bag as well. I do think the the Camel color is, is classic. There's a lot of trendy twists out there that I probably wouldn't touch, but I do love this color. Okay, so bag number two is from the New Wave collection. The New Wave is like maybe the stepchild <laughs> of Louis Vuitton. Now also in this list, I'm not going to talk about Emprunt because Emprunt is popular number two to canvas bags. So we're gonna talk about the New Wave collection. Like I said, it's the redheaded stepchild, unfortunately. But I did gravitate toward this, of course, because it was just something that, like, this is a beautiful collection. Not a lot of people ask for this. But what I particularly remember out of this collection is the camera bag. And at the time, it was only $1,800. It is a beautiful lambskin leather, just as beautiful as the Chanel lambskin. For the price compared to a Chanel, I thought it was a great deal. Now, what is the new wave? It's the waves, the waves that you see on the bag. It's reminiscent of the waves of the ocean, Louis Vuitton packed trunks, made trunks to cross the Atlantic. So that's why you see a lot of wave, like uh, wave insignia and things like that. This collection, I even did like it when uh, the new wave MM and PM were available. Yeah, it's kind of got that kidney bean shape. It's a little funky. But this collection, unfortunately, has always been accused of looking like Gucci. 
I thought it was cuter and a softer leather and better material than the Gucci. There used to also be the fanny pack, the camera bag. Personally, when you compare these to the monogram versions, it's just a little more chic and a little more feminine. And I found that a nice way to elevate your wardrobe. It used to come in white and black and the white was just like so gorgeous. I know it's hard to wear white, but this was a gorgeous collection. So now I see neither one are on the website anymore and they have replaced it with this new wave chain bag. <laughs> Hello. To me, immediately when I saw this, I'm like, that looks like Gucci. The other things they had previously looked very Vuitton and I especially like the uh, PM and the MM that had the detachable handle that had the Louis Vuitton logo in the rainbow color. I thought that was so darling. People didn't like that, but I'm like, hey, you can easily take it off or flip it over. Oh, and also let's talk about color because you know I like color. It came in red and pink. I do like the color green that they they have with the new chain bag. I just don't like the style of the bag. Okay, so number three on my list, the Alma BB in Verni. So right now on the website, I only see that the Alma BB in Verni is available in Amarant. Verni is French for varnish. So the Verni is the patent leathers. Please do not treat your patent leather with anything. It's going to lose its shine. But anyways, this is the patent leather collection. In the store I worked in, this collection was like pretty tiny. It's a little more dressy. So if you want a bag that's going to be a little more dressy, I would go for the Verni. The particular one I loved and I still see people buzzing about is the Rose Ballerine. So that's the pretty pastel light pink. And in Alma, this is so cute. There was also the Epi leather in the Rose Ballerine and it's so cute, right? It's just feminine and dainty and I guess I'm partial to the color pink. Now also since we're talking about uh, pink Epi leather, I'm also going to throw in the Clooney BB in pink because um, people really like that bag too and it's cute and feminine and has the recognizable Louis Vuitton Epi leather, but the logo is pink on pink. Okay, so the next bag on my list is one that has been discontinued, but I do see it on the pre-love market. The reason I love this bag. Now, a lot of you guys ask, I want a bag for every day, but also for evening and going out. Most of the monograms do not fit that description, and that is mostly what people are looking for. Look, you've got your day bag and you've got your evening bag. You've got your like bag for work and you've got your bag for nighttime. Carry different bags. But I do understand too if you're traveling and you don't want to carry all the bags. Anyways, this is the solution. The Clary, the Clary Black Epi Leather. At the time that I worked there, this bag was around $1,800. Look at the versatility of this bag. It has a leather crossbody strap and it's big enough to fit quite a few things. It will fit your phone, your keys, your lipstick. Like it's gonna fit a lot of things. This is bigger than a mini bag. So you don't have to squeeze your dollars and buy a mini bag. That's hardly going to carry a thing. But you can also take off the leather strap and it's got the unique Louis Vuitton top handle to it. So you can carry it as a top handle bag or just carry it as a clutch. The Louis Vuitton logo is black, so it's black on black, which I think is very chic. It's discreet, but I know some people love to show off the logo too. That's your personal preference. But also since it's got the handle, okay, how cute is this if you tie a little bandeau around the handle just to personalize it or dress it up if you want to. So I see a lot of versatility in this particular bag and it is available on the resale market. There is another color of this bag, which was the blue denim. It was like kind of a blue and white stripe. And I think that one showed off a little bit more of the leather details. But if there was anything that was like, okay, can I use it daytime and nighttime? I think this would be it. There are not that many bags that are this versatile. Okay, the last bag on the list is one I keep going back to and I keep looking at and I found it on Fashion File for $2,600 or $2,300 and then I just popped onto the Louis Vuitton website and saw that it's still available <laughs> for $2,200 so I was like, oh, oh my gosh, you can still buy this for less than what the resellers are asking for. That is crazy. This is the last and I think my favorite on the list the most underrated, and I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not for everybody, but this is such a unique and beautiful bag. It is the Spring Street. 
So currently there are four colors available. It looks like there's black and white, pink, red, and silver. Look how gorgeous these are. Okay, so my personal favorite, if I were going to purchase one of these, and I've told myself too, I'm like, you know what? When I hit the next milestone in YouTube, I should get one of these bags. And I actually would pick, even though I said I love colored bags, I would pick the black and white one. Let's take a look at that. Look at this black patent. It's so pretty, but what I love about this bag, look at the side, it has white epi leather. And the bottom has the monogram details, the strap has the monogram details. So this bag has everything Louis Vuitton. It's got the Verney leather with the embossed Louis Vuitton logos. It has the epi leather and it has the monogram. And this is such a beautiful marriage of three materials. So let's look at the other ones. There's also pink, very cute. Red with navy epi leather, love it. And look at the silver. I love how the logos pop off of the silver material. I do think the silver Bernie is beautiful. It is a little harder to wear because it's such a metallic bag. Now, if you look deep into the interwebs, there is also a uh, special edition of this bag. It came through the store once and it was stunning. Stunning. I love the contrast of it. It was silver with yellow epi leather trim and it was so gorgeous. Like I said, if I just had money lying around, like I would get that, <laughs> I would get that bag because it's beautiful, but I know I wouldn't wear it that much. Even though I love yellow. This is my yellow juicy couture from 2000, 2009 maybe. <laughs> so I don't mind color. Anyways, check that bag out when you have the chance and let me know what you think. So also, um, I think what people didn't like about this bag is that it's a little bit small and boxy. It's definitely not a bag that you would wear every day. But I do picture this like, oh my gosh, I would totally take that to lunch with the girls or to a party or somewhere where you know you want to show off your outfit and your, and your handbag. And that's what I think the Spring Street is perfect for. So those are my personal picks. And in my next show, we're going to talk about some of the other non-monogram bags that may be useful for your evening attire. So be sure to check that one out next. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you have something fun and unique that's not monogram and not on prime, or if you have a fun story about a bag, I'd love to hear it. If you enjoyed this content, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave me a nice comment. It really does help to grow the channel. Thank you so much again for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. My name is Michelle. Love you guys. Bye.